More quick maths. What is the absolute value? Well, this is the symbol for absolute value. These two lines, whoosh, whoosh, straight down like that. And if you put a number in here, you get something, right? So like, for example, if I put three in here, do you know what the absolute value of three is? Three. How about if I put negative three inside there? What is the absolute value for negative three? The absolute value for negative three is still three. Absolute value just takes the positive value. So if you anytime you see absolute value, just positive values. Another word for this is modulus. So absolute value, we just want the positive values of the number or equation or whatever it is. So if they ask you for a little mathematical definition for absolute value, it's like this. The modulus of x is equal to x. This is kind of creepy, eh? Look at that. When people see this thing and they're, they're not so hot up in the maths, they'll be like, just ignore that. All right? But it's simple. Modulus of x is equal to x if x is greater than 0. So if you have a number like 0, greater than or equal to 0. If you have a number like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just write back the same number because that's positive already. However, if you have a number that is negative, if x is less than 0, you'll have to put the positive version of that number. And coincidentally, the only way to get the positive version is to put a negative in front of the number. So if the answer, if you had a number like negative 5 and you want the absolute value of negative 5, it's going to be 5. Absolute value of negative 10, it's going to be 10. Absolute value of negative 20 is going to be negative negative 20, which is 20. Simple as that. Where the, why is this useful? If we had a flag, and I asked you to find the height of this flag, and you get 10 meters, Okay, so that's the absolute value for the height of the flag. What about if the flag is like this? What's the height of the flag now? You might say it's about zero meters because the flag is lying on the ground. But what is the absolute value of the flag? It still remains 10 meters. It doesn't matter which direction the flag is in. It will still have a length of 10 meters. So the absolute value is useful in mathematics for situations like that where you just want the absolute value. You just want the actual um amplitude or, or magnitude of the quantity.